Hi, Terry Gentis in the kitchen, and today I am making a guacamole. My focus is having really great food that is fun, flavorful, and infused with lots of nutrition. Guacamole, it does it all by itself. I'm not really doing anything different, but I'm gonna make sure that you know how to make it and make it good. You know picking avocados can be kind of tricky. It's a song and a prayer sometimes, and that's what it is gonna be today, so say a little prayer with me. Ideally, you're looking for something that does have a little bit of give to the thumb, but go in and feel your avocados all over because if it really has a big give, chances are that's a moldy spot. So make sure that you go in and look for it to be evenly firm all over. Give it a little bit of a spin. Oh, thank you, that is perfect, it's wonderful. And what I'll actually do is just go in and you can peel them. Everyone's got their own thing that they like to do with avocado, but I'm gonna look to make this easy. Go in and dice it. And I'll do that with the other one. And I should have a different knife here, but let's see if this works for me. Perfect, thank you very much. We'll come back and we'll do that to this as well. And my kitchen skills, they're rudimentary. I'm not a trained chef that has all those amazing knife skills. Just make sure you're comfortable with what you're doing. So as you can see, that knife is mighty close to your hand. From here, all I'm gonna do is use a spoon and scoop it out to get a fine dice. It doesn't have to take long. Go ahead and get all of that delicious flesh. The color is so wonderful, very vibrant. Typically, I will double the recipe of guacamole using at least two or three avocados. Today, we're gonna to keep it simple. We've got one going in here. And then it is the wonderful melange of tomatoes, red onions, finely diced, and garlic. You have to have lots of garlic. So that's all going to get dumped in here. And the infamous jalapeno, you have to have that or any kind of a hot pepper. That will go in as well. A little bit of lemon or lime juice. I tend to like lime, excuse me, lemon juice a little more than lime because it has a little bit of extra tartness. And that's typically what I will look for. You need some sea salt, always good quality sea salt. Be generous with that. And you can put in a little bit of cumin if you like. And I'm going to actually throw in a little bit of cumin to give it one, a little more of a medicinal boost. The cumin is really great for being inflammatory, anti-inflammatory, excuse me, as well as Super to uh, help with digestion. Cilantro, love or hate, but oh, man, with guacamole, you mean you have to have cilantro. This gets all mixed up. And then you massage the taste to see whether or not you want a little more heat, a little more tartness, a little more salt, a little more of the pungency from the cumin. A lot of my food tends to be a little bit Christmassy looking with the red and green and white, or Italian, I guess you could say that. Stir that up, you see it's come together pretty quickly. I'm gonna do a taste. I could probably add a little more avocado and I might. Hmm, or I might not. I'm gonna leave it as is. It's fabulous to go, can plate it. And serve it up, of course, with the good old traditional nacho chips. Go organic if you're having corn because corn is genetically modified. So please look for an organic or non-GMO chip. Get some of those. What I love to do is actually take red cabbage and cut them up in triangles and use that as my dip. And then you've got a truly raw option for you instead of having a, a toasted or a baked or a deep fried tortilla. So just a nice option. Easy to make fun to come together and almost everyone loves guacamole so please put it on your menu try making it yourself and let me know how you like it terrygentis.com is my website and you can find me on facebook as well thanks so much for joining me i look forward to seeing you again bye for now